Hi guys, so today I'm here with my drugstore makeup starter kit. I do have a bun in my hair though, just so you know before I get started. It kind of looks like I'm bald because my hair is like blending in with the background, but I do have a bun in, so let's just get that straight. I haven't pulled my hair back in a long time. But I did do a high-end makeup starter kit as well, so if you guys want to see that, I will link that video down below. But now I here I am following up with the drugstore makeup starter kit. And these are products that just kind of work best with my skin. Some of these products may not work well for you. This is just the products that if I had to start all over and start all over with drugstore makeup, I would be purchasing. So I have my little list. I have face, eyes, and lips, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So for the face, the first thing on the list is a primer. I don't have the primer that I actually used, I used to use to show you because I've recently started using more high-end primers and I love them. But the one I used was from L'Oreal. It came in like a little pot. And I don't think it was called Magic Souffle, but it was like a whipped kind of primer. It was white and it was like really whipped feeling. And I really liked that primer. It was actually a really good primer from the drugstore. And I may end up repurchasing it end up repurchasing it in the future because I really liked it. Um, but it's just like a little pot. Um, primer and I really liked it. Another alternative I've decided or I've decided recently is that um, drugstore BB creams can be used as primers as well. They do have a little bit of a tint to them but they help with all of those aspects of like sunscreen and things like that and it'll help your makeup stay on. So the one that I like is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB. I've tried a couple from the drugstore and I just kind of keep coming back to the Maybelline one. I'm in the shade light medium and yeah I just like this. This is a good um BB cream or primer too. Next is concealer. I only have a green concealer to show you, but I do like the Maybelline concealers um, as well. Mine is just the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer. This one is in green. I love this because it corrects redness, but I know that they have actual like uh, colored tinted ones for just correcting in general for like under eyes and things like that. I love these because they're creamy, especially when applied over a primer, and they cover very well. Like I tend to get really red like in here and then you know obviously where there's breakouts, but these will cover it perfectly and I love this. I repurchased this quite a few times. I absolutely love this concealer from Maybelline. This is foundation. I have tried quite a lot of foundations from the drugstore and I always end up coming back to the Revlon ones. I loved the Revlon photo already and then when Revlon came out with the Color Stay uh, whipped foundation or I liked the Revlon Color Stay one and when they came out with the Revlon Color Stay whipped foundation I could not keep my hands off it. I absolutely loved this foundation. This one's actually completely used up. It was um, shown in my empties video and I just kind of saved it so I could talk about it. So now I gotta throw it away. Um, but this is just a great foundation for dry skin. I, I tend to have more dry skin in the summer and more oily skin in the winter. So weird. But um, I really liked this foundation for my skin, and it lasted me forever. I was in the shade Natural Beige, and I just I love this foundation. I cannot say enough good things about it. Next is powder, and I do not have a powder here to show you, but my favorite from the drugstore is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder. That is a great powder. I, uh, I repurchased that a million and one times. Absolutely love it. So the Rimmel London Stay Matte uh, Powder is the best. Next is a bronzer. My favorite bronzer from the drugstore is actually a really popular one here on YouTube. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. This is just a really great bronzer, kind of like, it has a little bit of an orangey tone to it, but when applied it has more of just like a natural bronze look. Um, I pit pan on this one, obviously. I kind of use this one more so on my neck now since I decided to start more, more so contouring than bronzing just because I... I don't know, bronzing on such fair skin to me is really difficult, but using this just kind of like on my neck to blend down just looks really, really great, and I used to use this all over the face and loved it. Next is blush. My all-time favorite drugstore blushes have to be the e.l.f. ones. I have a duo here to show you. All my single e.l.f. blushes are actually at home with my mom, but I really love their blushes. This is the blush and bronzer duo, um, but their blushes are fantastic. Um, they're $3 for the um, Studio Line ones, and they come in a lot of different colors. I think I have like three out of the like six colors that they have and I love them. They're really pigmented, um, they're beautiful and I think they'll last you forever. This one's lasted me for like three years and I love it. And then last for the face is a highlighter. I actually have not found a highlighter from the drugstore that I like. I know Lush, which technically really isn't the drugstore, has the little like highlighters now, like the face illuminators. I like those, but I don't know if I would consider that drugstore. I tend to 
kind of reach for more high-end highlighters. So if you found a good highlighter from the drugstore, definitely let me know because I am on the lookout. I am the girl that loves highlighting her face. Um, I like the disco ball look. So if you found a good one, definitely let me know. Next up is eyes. First for the eyes is primer. My favorite primer from the drugstore is the $1 one from e.l.f. It is a great primer. It's a dollar. It's so simple to get. Like if you are getting eyeshadows at all, just run over to the e.l.f. section and grab the e.l.f. eyelid primer because it's a dollar and it's totally worth it and it will last you and it's a great primer. I actually don't have it here to show you obviously, but it's a great primer. Next is shadows and I actually have a little stack of shadows that I want to show you from the drugstore. Um, I actually have really good luck when finding eyeshadows from the drugstore drugstore so that's a good one for me pat on the back um the first two i have are the l'oreal the new l'oreal infallible shadows i have two of them i love these these are so perfect um l'oreal i think l'oreal owns lancome and lancome has like shadows almost similar to like these like in the little pots um with the little applicators they feel the exact same so they do have different shades in the lancome ones and the l'oreal ones but I would stick to the L'Oreal ones if I was you. Unless there's like one shade that you really desperately want that like Lancome has that L'Oreal hat doesn't have, I would get. But these are perfect. These are so good. Creamy, buttery, feel amazing. This purple I have used so much. But you just open it up like that. And it's just like a pressed pigment. And it's beautiful. It's buttery. It's creamy. I love these. They're fantastic. Um, other eyeshadows that I enjoy from the drugstore are NYX. Um, I don't know if you guys consider NYX a drugstore brand. I do. Um, I have a little palette here to show you the Champagne and Caviar palette. I have used and abused this palette. I absolutely love it. Again, these shadows are buttery, creamy, like your finger, like melts into them. I love shadows that do that. And then the last shadows from the drugstore that I like are the Wet n Wild ones. I have um, a trio, the Walking on Eggshells trio, and then I have two of the palettes. Um, I think I have three of the palettes actually. No, I have two. I have two of them. I have the Comfort Zone palette, which if you're starting out with makeup, this one's probably perfect because it's just like totally neutrals. Like totally neutrals. And then I have the Sparkle Till Morning palette, which I believe was limited edition. And it just looks like this. But these shadows, again, buttery, creamy, your hand melts into them. Love them. It is a base for eyeshadows. Again, I probably should have been before shadows. And I actually really like the NYX base. This is the, um, just the white one. I know there's also a skin tone colored one as well. These are perfect if you're using really bright colored eyeshadows and you want them to stand out more. The white one's perfect. I also like the NYX jumbo pencils. Those are good bases as well. Um, I think those are the only bases I really used, but I really like them. Next is liners. The first liner is a liquid liner, and this one has been like a longtime favorite of mine. It is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I used it today because my Stila one actually ran out, but I just love this. I've always loved it. It's easy to use. It's very creamy, uh, pigmented, very black, and easy to just really easy and pretty. And these actually tend to take a really long time to dry up for me, so I really like that because then I don't have to keep repurchasing it every like month or so. So I love the L'Oreal Linear Intense liner and then for pencil liners I love the NYX um, slide on liners this is just a blue one I like the blue one these are really creamy these to me feel like the Urban Decay ones that I love so the NYX ones that almost hit me in the eye do you see that I was like Psh. Um, are perfect and I love them. And then last for the eye category is mascara. My favorite mascara from the drugstore I don't have here to show you but is the, um, what is it called? The L'Oreal Million Lash, Voluminous, Voluminous Million Lashes uh, Mascara. It comes in gold packaging. Love that mascara. That is my all time favorite drugstore mascara. It's fantastic. Like if you've never tried it, try it because it's so good. Like it's so, so good. And then the last category is lips, and I have been so into lips, as you can see. Um, i actually really been into lips lately. I love fall. Fall's my favorite. But um, first is lip balm from the drugstore. I absolutely love the Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm. Um, these are great. They come in different colors. Mine's just the clear one. I just like the clear one. But you can get tinted ones as well that kind of look pretty if you want just like a wash of sheer color, but still have like hydration and like lip balm on your lips basically. So there's those, and I, I just love them. I think they're so, so great. And then there is lipstick, and I actually really like all of the lipsticks I've tried from the drugstore. There, ne there's never been a lipstick that I have tried from the drugstore, and I just haven't liked the way it felt on my lips. The one I have on right now is actually definitely a favorite of mine, and it's the new um, Milani lipsticks. These are so great, and they smell, oh my god, they smell like Jolly Ranchers. They smell so so good. The one I'm wearing is Sangria. That's the one I just showed you. I just did like a sheer wash of it. 
It looks really pink right now, though. I did a sheer wash of it over a lip balm, which is why it looks more pink, uh, but it definitely is just like a darker color. That's so funny. Oh, whatever. But I love the Milani lipsticks. These are great. And then the other lipsticks that I think are like an all-time favorite are the Revlon Lip Butters. These are so good. I have like four or five colors. I love them. I think especially if you're starting out with makeup, the Revlon Lip Butters are a perfect way to go because it's like hydrating, but it's still like a wash of color. So it looks amazing. Love them. And last but not least is lip gloss. I actually haven't tried that many lip glosses from the drugstore. Um, I don't know if you guys consider Sephora brand a drugstore brand, but it is really inexpensive, especially compared to everything else that Sephora carries. But I like the lip glosses from Sephora. These are really, really great. This one's in My Perfect Nude. They're creamy, they're buttery, and they feel really nice on the lips. So I really like the Sephora brand ones as well. Alright guys, so that's it for my drugstore makeup starter kit. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, if you wanted to see my high-end makeup starter kit, I will link that video down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.